Ollie's behavior changed when I enrolled her into a different school. She started to get teased and bullied. She stopped going to school, period. I don't like the feeling of watching my daughter get beat up. It breaks my heart. She's probably ran away 20 times. My daughter has stolen my car seven times. She tried to break the window with a concrete brick. It didn't break. That's why she broke the windshield. My husband rather take an abandonment charge than have her in our home. Just four days ago, she steals a car. She is not on the right track. In the last four years, my daughter has cost me over $10,000 in damages. Rounded up to 16000 We lock ourselves in our bedroom at night so she can't steal anything. We have a safe in our room that holds everything that we don't want her to take. She had my safe burned to try to take whatever valuables I've had. I shouldn't have to lock my doors. I shouldn't have to put cameras up in my house. My doors in my home are busted because of her. Ollie has stolen my mother's bank card and wiped it clean to buy her and her friend's cell phones, which I didn't know you could do that at 13 years old, but she did. She has stolen money from me, my husband, my daughters. She does say that it's okay for her to be using pills, drinking, cocaine, because she doesn't do it daily. Her room is not exactly what every 17-year-old little girl's room should look like. It is nasty. Clothes everywhere, rotten food. There's cigarette butts. Every day I ask myself what happened to my daughter. I love my daughter very much, but I don't like her right now. Ollie says she wants to fix her relationship with her parents, but she feels like her life, well, she just says it's not important to them. I don't really know why I'm coming on the Dr. Phil show. I'm a normal teenager doing normal things. Everyone my age is doing it. My childhood was difficult. My mom and dad got into arguments all the time, and my mom ended up leaving. I was raised by my father, and my sisters were a couple years older than me, and my dad always worked, so I felt like I was kind of raising myself. My mom was a drug addict. She would rather go do drugs than be with me. When I was 13, I ended up moving back with my mom. And it was the first time I saw her in six years. It was just me and my mom at first, so we got kind of close. But as soon as my dad and my sisters came, it's like they pushed me out of the family bubble. And that's when I started being disobedient and disrespectful. And I started hanging out with the wrong crowd. And I started stealing cars. I ended up dropping out of school last year. And then I ended up quitting my job because I ran away with my ex-boyfriend. I was addicted to yops. Yops are a mix of cocaine, ecstasy, and molly. I stole my mom's car just to be cool and to ride around. I got arrested a few months ago for crashing my mom's car. Whenever I get into these car accidents, my parents are always mad at me but never worried about my well-being. They should be worried about their daughter living or not. I steal cars because it gives me a rush. I'm afraid of getting caught, but that's part of the rush. My parents try their hardest to outsmart me by hiding the keys and locking their doors, but I'll always find a way. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.